Behind me is Ray's Cross, and it originally marks the border between the Kingdom of Northumbria, which was Anglo-Saxon, and the Kingdom of Strathclyde, which was a Scottish Britannic kingdom, a kingdom of the Celtic people before the Roman invasion and the true kings of the British Isles. But it's said in local folklore that this is the grave of Eric Bloodaxe. Now, without going into too much detail, Eric Bloodaxe was the son of the Norwegian king Harold Fairhair. And he went over to Orkney, Bloodaxe did. And it was him and his wife. And his wife was well known as a witch and practicing witchcraft. And eventually they decided to raise an army and march south to the northern part of England. And uh, they moved into an area which had a dispute between the kingdom. And he gained the title Eric Bloodaxe because his father, Fairhair, had 20 sons. And it, he really slept around. And Eric got into this feud with his family because with 20 sons, especially in Viking culture, you had an expectation of, I'm a famous person, but I'm never going to see the throne unless I do a lot of killing. And that's exactly what Eric Bloodaxe did. And he went over to Orkney to establish a title there before moving down here. And it's said that he and several other kings of the Vikings came out to this spot on the moor seeking a peace treaty and that he was slaughtered. And although he was a Christian, his wife said that there was a vision that she had, a dream of him being welcomed into Valhalla by Odin and greeted by the warriors of the past. And I think it's a fascinating spot out on the, the moors of Stanmore, the cross. And if you hand me the camera, you can see the beautiful location where he finally met.